Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rise of Mordor Battlefield today, but this one has a bit of a twist because I'm sure if you've read the title, you know what we are facing. Today we are facing no foe from Middle Earth, but we are facing the foes from Westeros. We have Rise of Mordor and the Seven Kingdoms mod facing off against each other today. It is Game of Thrones versus Lord of the Rings and it is going to be an epic battle. Unfortunately, no replays will work. I've tried about three times now. Um, I had some really good battles. But uh, no replay will work. So we're doing this one live. So you have to uh, bear in mind there may not be as many close-ups as possible. But it is the usual sort of Game of Thrones stuff. We have the Golden Company elephants here. We have the Unsullied, the Undead, the Night King is here. Jon Snow is here. Robert Baratheon. Stannis Baratheon. The Lannisters are here, we have the Lot, we have uh, the Vale with their famous cavalry, they already have cavalry all the way up here, jeez. And we are against Gondor, the greatest, possibly the greatest force in Middle Earth, they have the most like professional army out of any of them, so they are worthy to take on Westeros and everything they have to offer. So we'll see which fantasy world comes out on top, will it be Game of Thrones, or will it be Lord of the Rings? Put your bets down in the comments now. Go and don't skip and cheat and find out what happens at the end. Um, it's definitely going to be an excellent battle. I can tell from the past battles that have happened. And I hope you guys enjoy. And just leave a like, comment and subscribe if you are enjoying the content currently. And if you want to see some interesting scenarios. Like I don't know like the Eastlings versus uh, House Tarly or something like that. Then just let me know in the comments. So I'd be happy to do more battles like this. And see what happens between like the Middle Earth and Westeros. See which one comes out on top. Anyway, we're going to just quickly fast forward whilst uh, the forces of Westeros get closer. I'm going to play a bit more defensively this one. Just so I have less micro to do. Um, and I can enjoy just showing you guys up the close-ups of what happens really. But I mean, as usual, both these mods look excellent. I mean, I can't complain. Look at the insulate. Oh! Let's put that on fire ammo. Let's make that epic. Let's actually try and get some shots, shall we? Shall we try and get some shots with the uh, arch tower? Oh, uh, not the arch tower. The uh, artillery while we wait. Some epic shots of artillery. To uh, spice it up. Oh, nice little hit there on some... Uh, Dornish archers. Let's see if we can get some uh, Unsullied or some Tyrell troops. There we go. There's some Unsullied. They got pretty beaten up. Maybe the elephants. Could we hit the elephants? I don't think so. No, that's going to go well over the elephants. That's going to hit the Tyrell troops. No, it's going to go well over the top. Let's try there. That might hit the elephants. That is going to hit the elephants. Excellent. That was a good hit on the elephants. And then we'll do that final one because I can see that, uh, well... Veil is getting very close. That was two very good hits, actually. Oh, I don't know if that was ours. That was a very good hit on the Tyrell troops. And here we go. It does look like the archers are going to get... Um, well, they're not going to get run down, but... They could get uh, into some interesting situations here. We'll form, start falling shield wall. With all our troops. And let's watch as the epic charge come in. It's going to... First clash is going to be between the Veil and Gondor here. There we go. Oh, a brutal charge. They got through. There we go, you can join that fight. My cavalry can go out here and start engaging. Let's just take out these guys. Let's send some spears into support. And that is probably where I'm... I'm probably just going to tell this artillery. Just start shooting and stuff back here. Shot these art. Shoot these... Oh, they've caught me out over here with it, their uh, cavalry. Okay, just send everything in here. There's a lot of armies on the map, so... Uh, or a lot of troops on the map, so you're going to have to keep in mind that I'm not going to be able to micro as great as I could hope, but we'll do our goddamn finest. Here we go. Send in the pikes. Elephants are already in there. Not looking good. Uh, they're actually dying quite quickly, though. Oh, God. That's not looking so good. Are uh, these guys pull back? And here we go. It looks like there's going to be some whites over here. This is going to be fun. And we've got plenty more troops here that we can flank around with. The general's over here. I actually don't want this general here at all. 
They, uh, the AI seems to, in this uh, sub mod seems to have a lot of um, a lot of tendency to pull out of like attacks that it's having and just carry on fighting elsewhere. I just send these axes in over here. Send you in to surround here. But yeah, let's have a look a bit at the close up. So what we got over here? We have got some Prince's Coast Guard fighting up against the Bolton. Um, like giant shields from the Battle of the Basses. That'll be interesting to see. I don't think they'll have much chance there fighting against those huge shields. Um, we've got Jon Snow here. He's deep in enemy lines. I think this might be Jon here. No, that's not Jon. That's not Jon. I'll tell you one thing. We're going to send these troops in. The Citadel Guard needs sending in. Send the Citadel Guard in. And the elephants are falling. Archers just focus down on big blobs back here. Just shoot anything and everything. The cavalry out, uh, over here has done, done its business. Just get in here. Just send these guys in. I do apologize. It's uh, a little chaotic. The Night King here. He's probably going to do a lot of damage. He does take a lot of effort to kill. I mean, it looks like we're winning on this flank very, very well. Looks like the Baratheon forces here can't hold them back. Baratheon swords. Got Lannister House Guard over here. They're getting overwhelmed. What have we got here? Golden Company swords. Oh, look at these guys. We've, I'm pretty sure I've shown these guys off before in a past video. They look excellent. They're tired, though. They're, they seem like they've had enough of fighting the forces of uh, Middle Earth. Send these guys in behind. They can flank in. Archers might as well just hold fire. They're not even doing anything. Can I get any good shots with a, another bit of artillery? Because look at this. Look at that. I'm sure I can get some good damages there. Look at that. That is a disgusting shot. But this is what you can do. I decided I wouldn't give them any artillery because I gave them elephants. Um, so I thought I'll balance it out. Like Elephants can do a lot of damage. So can artillery. That was a good hit. And then one, we'll do one final one. We'll put it in this blob here. Yes! Excellent. Feel the pain. The fiery death. Shooting a archers all the way back there. Okay. I guess that's what I did all of them to do. Um, swords get in here. You're going to support your pikes. And it looks like... Uh, I don't know how many whites are left. I think they might all be dead. There's a few here, but they should be holding to the very last. I mean, these uh, spears now are getting surrounded. Fighting it out. Look at all the dead elephants. I just love the colours of Westeros. They've all got so very, like, bright colours. And there's just, like, the professional silver of Gondor. It kind of mixes quite nicely. I mean, definitely one of my favourite units for armour has to be Tyrell, I think. They've got a really cool, like, armour. Looks very nice. Look at this. Look at this pipeline here with the swords. You know where you're getting through that. And then this massive flank over here is one, so we'll just blob them all up and they can all go in there. Um, I could even send in the archers at this point. It's not even like that much of a problem. These guys, uh, I guess, just kill them off. They're just still shooting the archers back there, which are quite happily shooting into the rear of all those cavalry. There you go, more stuff that needs to be committed to do stuff. Uh, archers don't shoot, hold your fire. Send the general in, why not? Look at this. Look at this overwhelming. It's not much of a fight, um, but it, it's quite... It's quite interesting. I will admit, it is interesting to see who can win. The Game of Thrones units have been rebalanced, so they'll stand longer. Because otherwise, I, by now, most of them would have broken. Like Game of Thrones, they break very, very quick. 
But um, they still are no match to Rise of Mordor, it would seem. I mean, the Night King, I'm sure, is getting plenty of kills. The Cavalry also... I mean, Cavalry is king for Westeros right now. Um... So, I mean, like, I didn't give them as much cover as I possibly could have, but if I gave them a lot of cavalry, it wouldn't have been a great infantry fight, which is what we, what everyone really wants. What everyone truly wants. A great infantry fight. Let's put all this in here. Apart from you, you can carry on finding these whites. You're all done here. You go in here and take out these guys. Let's see a cavalry charge from Gondor. Run down the Dornish. I did not imagine at any point in my life, oh my gosh, I'd be saying run down the Dornish while playing with Gondor. Artillery, hold your fire. You're going to do some nasty damage to our own men. Oh, that was nasty. But it was worth it. It broke the Dornish archers. And there you go, the, or the Martell Archers, I should call them. There you go, run these guys down. The, the Whites are finished. Send the Archers in, why not? Send them in for some combat. Look at this. The final brave knights of Westeros. And Unsullied and all sorts in here. Holding against the armies of Gondor. Good God. What do, what do men do against such reckless hate? Is what the Lord of the Rings people will be saying. And then over here they'll be saying like... Tracaris or the Lannisters pay their debt. Or winter is coming. And everyone's just be so confused to be like, what are you on about? And then the, White, and then the Night King would just be making nothing. He'd be making no noise at all. Let's see if we can get a kill. Go on, take down this fountain guy. He's got his sword out, the fool. No, he seems to be quite happily just walking through. But look at this. This is this blobbing here is just not gonna end well. Get a kill! Just start swiping someone. I feel like they're trying to get out of the fight. Um, they're not getting much of a chance though. There you go, I think it's just down to this general. Almost. Oh, there's stuff over here. Oh, jeez. What happened there? It seemed to go light, dark, light, dark. The sun just got a, an eclipse and it. it didn't have an eclipse. And he's doing it again. Oh, I think it's something to do with the mod. Probably something to do with this little uh, mod. It's probably not the most stable thing in the world. I will leave a link to the mod in the description if you want to try this out and... Uh, Try and recreate some weird and fantastic battles. I'm going to just zoom out of that. Look at this charge. It's not even going to do a lot of damage. It's going to knock down a lot of my men, but... They're all just eager to get to the Night King. Look at all the poor elephants over here. All the dead elephants. The Unsullied holding their own. Doing their... They're queen proud. One random Bolton. <laughs> Can he get a kill? No, I don't think he will. He's hiding too much behind his huge shield. Ethelian range is in here. Unsullied. It's just amazing. It's so weird and so balmy, but so cool. In the background there, you can just see more Gondor soldiers coming up. Excellent. Is that like a Gondor soldier there on his own? That is. Look at this guy. It's like, I'll make it one day. Huh. Huh. Excellent. You get in there, sir. Oh my gosh. The Night King's really beaten up. He's down to two men. One of them probably is the Night King. There he is. He definitely looks like he's bugged out. And is he breaking? And 
But there we go. That is going to be victory for Middle Earth today. If you'd like to see more of this uh, of this mod or the sub mod and see like some more wacky scenarios, I'll probably do um, some interesting ones like maybe I don't know House Lannister attacking the elves or something. I don't know. If you want to see something, then let me know in the comments. Um, I'd be quite happy to do more. I'm always enjoy your, enjoy your guys' comments and. Uh, Give them all a read and respond to as many as I can. And there we go. The enemy general is dead. Um, we will end the battle and we will have a look at the end results quickly. I don't think there will be many kills for the um, Westeros faction. I think they're still a little bit underpowered. Or maybe just because I'm playing with the uh, Rise of Mordor units. I'm just so good with them. But they've got mostly elite units. They've got like the Night King who got 93 kills in fact. Didn't see them but he did. The uh, Golden Company Elephants 24 very very poor from them but yeah most of their stuff didn't get really anything that good cavalry actually over here got 47 that's okay i guess but not great i mean look at these i've got hundreds of kills on my cavalry uh my citadel guards are excellent fountain guards i mean if you want to have a look there you go i mean 267 with the warriors of Lars and Arch, probably the best um, but if you guys enjoyed, then please do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and a comment to show your guys support um, I do, like I said, enjoy reading all your comments. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.